Hey guys, we're right here at the Miami Boat Show and we got Steve from Hobby. He's gonna give us a walkthrough of the Hobby Island. This thing is amazing. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to set up, right? But once you get going, super awesome. I, I wasn't one like two years ago. I still remember like yesterday. Amazing stuff. Okay, Steve, take it away. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the Tandem Island. It's been out a few years. Uh, a couple years ago, we gave a update to it with a change of bow, a bit more flotation in the front of the boat, also a change of the amas. It goes through the water better and has a bit more flotation. One of the unique things about the island is the ability to adjust the mainsail for the conditions, wind and or sea. And obviously with the Mirage Drive, it makes it practical, especially in places where there are no wind. You can furl the sail, you can pedal the boat back, strong currents you can pedal it back, but to tell you what, for someone who's never sailed, you can hop on this boat and in 10 minutes you can go sailing. It's so easy to use. You can sail it one up or two up, two seating stations. You can control it from the front of the boat or the rear of the boat. We've got a great way to pack it up. Uh, once you furl the sail, you can take it off and put it on the trailer. But what I like about it is the Amas and Akas, you can actually leave on the boat to make that uh, assembly easy and from trailer to water. And on the water, you're probably less than about five or six minutes. It's a pretty simple thing. You remove the paddle. You have your Aka brace. And this just folds in. The both of these fold in. The mass will unclip from it. And you take a standard trailer and you have a set of cradles that Hobie manufacture and it leaves the whole boat together. And I think that's a big thing that people look at in the window. They don't want to spend hours putting things together by having a dedicated trailer, the Hobie uh, cradles. It makes this thing from beach to water in about six minutes and it makes you the time on the water that way. Uh, then I, it was the, me who was the rookie that took like 10 minutes to get on the water. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> All right, so but even in today's standard, 10 minutes is nothing. So. I know. Because the tandem island is just over 18 feet. It's just over 200 pounds, and that's all up. That's with the amas, the akas, the seats, and the drive. Naturally, you can remove that for uh, transport in the boat. We make a nice set of uh, dollies to move it back and forth. But this is what really drives the whole thing, and this is what makes the tandem island one of those vessels that anyone can use, from a novice who's never sailed before to the experienced sailor. It's a furling mainsail. And just by unclitting the mainsail, you can furl it up. And you can control how wet you want to get, how fast you want to go, and what your comfort level is. And that's what I really like. For the novice sailor, and a big breeze comes up, you furl the sail, the boat slows down, and you go back to the Mirage Drive. On a typical breeze here in, say, Florida, that 15 to 18 miles an hour, you're realistically going to be probably about that size sail shape. And again, it's more is not better in sailing. You want to take and adjust the sail size for the balance of the boat. One from the splash point of view, but also for the steering. So the tandem island without that would make this a very difficult boat to sail. With it, it just makes it child's play and it's very, very good. Were you a TV presenter before? Because you got this thing like down. You should uh, go fishing in one of these. They're great. I, 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 oh, oh man. I did. Get mahi mahi go offshore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and we hit like crazy waves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And nothing. Nothing is Did you have the, uh, the, the trampoline? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. 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 That, that thing is huge. That thing it keeps it like going. And the Mirage Drive are the latest one with the 180 and the kick up and everything. Pretty good. So how much are these again? I'll check here in the Price US. Right there. That's it there. Nice. Wow. It's a lot of fun for that kind of money, I tell you what. I mean, it is a lot of fun. And I think this is, and you guys pretty much own the market with this because nobody else is really doing this. No, it's a very unique boat for a whole bunch of reasons. Families, new sailors, Guys are gonna go offshore fishing, chasing mahi-mahi, even jigging off the bottom from snapper. This is the platform. You can get a set of trampolines, which really make it nice. One is from a, a dry point of view. From a sailing point of view, you can actually sit on the trampoline, and it's like leverage on a normal catamaran, and you can take and hold that boat down. 
What I like about it, you can put a great big fish bag on here. So if you do get a big, uh, you know, Bluetooth, tuna, big fish like that, you can put them in your fish bag, take it back home, and have a fantastic Sunday afternoon dinner. That's right.